Hello and welcome to the Landlord Focus podcast. In this episode, we're going to talk about five things every landlord must have. We're both landlords ourselves. Uh, We've got the battle scars to prove it. These are things that we wish we'd known before we got going. So whether it's strategy, mortgages, builders, tenants, whatever, we're going to cover it in this episode. Let's get into it. So, five things every landlord must have. But have for what? What's the point? To be happy and successful. It is. That is the point. So if you're a landlord, or you want to be, you want to be happy and successful. That's it. Well, why do it? Why do it? So, what's number one? Number one seems really obvious. Mm, Does it? To me it does. Have a plan. Mm. Number one. Number one. And it's obvious why it's number one. Yeah? There's five things. And number one, you've got to start with this. I'll tell you why I think it's obvious. Mm -hmm. Um, No business, whatever it is, in any industry, starts, grows, optimises, builds anything without having a plan in place. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't get any startup capital for a new business without showing (laughs) somebody your business plan. However, you could become a landlord today by going into a bank, applying for a mortgage, Providing you, you know, you pass all the credit checks and everything, they'll give you one, and you go and buy a house and you rent it out. And you're a landlord. And you can, bank, you're there. They're done. Yeah. And, and you could do all of that without showing the bank a business plan. Correct. Yeah. They won't ask you, so then, tell me what your tenant profile is, yeah. and what size house you're going to buy, and bloody, bloody, bloody. How are you going to string all this together to make yourself into a successful, happen. happy landlord? That's not even a thing. Yeah. Um, the reason of planning becomes comes before anything else. So the reason it's number one is because it, is it starts it start as you but mean to go on. The, you want to see yeah. where you're going. But the, of course. But the, the, don't. No, they exactly. Don't. I was going to say, That's right? The so they don't. Hundreds and, <laughs> hundreds and thousands of landlords don't have a plan. Mostly all of them are making mistakes. A little mistake. I'm not saying they're all in, you know, catastrophic yeah. um, positions, but they'll mostly all be making little mistakes, big mistakes, just don't let that be you. Well, I think we could probably differentiate between professional landlords, those landlords who have gone into it on purpose, and the accidental landlord. But it's also yeah, a fact that true. there are more accidental landlords than planned landlords. So still, if you just say landlords in general, mm-hmm. most of them are accidental. Most of them haven't got a plan. Yeah. But then out of the rest of them that are on purpose, they might think they've got a plan. They've got a rough idea. But... Did the plan involve looking at all the other options? Or was it just, there's a house, that's a good idea. I'll buy it, I'll rent it out. I know how to be a landlord. Honestly, that's my plan. So many people, um, and I speak to people like this all the time, come into a bit of money, where, let's say a bit of inheritance or something, uh, and they just think, I need to buy, put this money into stocks and shares or property, so that I'm going to choose property, and what I'm going to do is just buy a house, couple of miles away from where I live. It's a bit cheaper, a little I bit think it's smaller. A good, I think this, this looks like a good idea. It looks like somewhere I could live yeah. myself if I didn't live in this house here. I'd be fine. Yeah. There's yeah, no yeah. planning involved there. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it would be a nest egg for the future. That's an alarm bell for me. I mean, a nest egg for the future, that's not what you want. As a landlord, a nest egg for the future might be a right pain mm. and underperforming thing for all of that time if you don't get it right. You know, There's yeah. an argument that says buy any house and keep it forever and you'll do all right. That's not a plan. Only if it's the that's right house. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. Not, that's not right. So yeah, have a plan. This is, for me, I, I think of this as um, the boardroom strategic kind of stuff. You know, that's maybe taking it a bit too far for the guy yeah. that's going to buy the first buy to let. But it's the I'm going, to have my, I'm going to get my reports. I'm going to get everything together. I'm going to get um, what my KPIs are, if you go that far. You know, it's kind of, this is the bit where um, you do all the esoterical kind of... Yeah. Cerebral stuff. Why you know, are why, you doing why this? Why are you doing this? What you do you want to achieve? Mm. And how are you going to achieve it, really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, and I think that's number one. So make yep. sure you have a plan. And if you've already got the house, maybe you've got multiple houses, create a plan. To how you can m- manage them better, yeah. optimize what you've already got. Like and, you're running a business. Yeah, exactly. like you're running a business. Yeah, yeah. Uh, success <coughs> leaves clues. That's a that's a, a phrase, isn't it? So model yourself on successful landlords. I wonder where you could find some of them. Yeah, <laughs> um, brilliant. Okay, what we aiming for? The numbers brings us on to 
Yeah. Number two. Number what, two. What is so numero dos? Dos. Speak Spanish. So, <laughs> the second thing that every landlord must have, again, seems really obvious, mm -hmm. the right property. Seems or obvious. All properties. Properties. Uh, the right book. house. Right house. More than that. Right yeah. house. Right area. Um, right street in the right area. Right condition. Right tenant, right paperwork, we'll mm -hmm. keep going on. But let's take it back to the house. So in order to get the right house, mm -hmm. um, you need to be able to source it. It's property sourcing. And right? yeah, property sourcing um, is very, very time consuming. Um, it's not something that you can do in evenings and on Saturday mornings um, and think you will be able to find that right house. You might get lucky. Um, but the reality is you need to be available every single day. Mm. You need to have fantastic relationships with all the state agents in yeah. your chosen area. You need to have been networking yeah. so that off the market deals come to you. And that in itself is a full-time job. Yeah. I, I was, I'd say the harder you work, the better deals you'll get. If you, if yeah. you want to do it on evenings and weekends, of course you can walk into any estate agent and buy anything off the shelf and yeah. pay the asking that's price. That's not sourcing. But that's not the aim of the game. You are- That's ding, buying a house. That's buying a house, yeah. yeah. You will become a landlord at the end of it, but the five things that landlords need to have, this isn't, this isn't, mm. this isn't it. Yeah. The, the right property, you're probably not going to get the right property. You make money when you buy, you can have exactly the same property in front of you, and at yeah. 100,000 pounds, it's a deal. At 150, it's not, let's say. Uh, you, uh, need, say. You, you need the local knowledge that you probably won't have if you're buying out of your area. Mm -hmm. The reason I know that is because I run a team of property sources. I've got a team of guys in six different locations. They are all from their specific area. We cover the whole of the Midlands and the north of England. Um, my team in Stoke-on-Trent, for example, are based there. They know every thing about every house they'd ever sourced. They'd know yeah. why it's good, why it's bad, why we'll stay away from that one. Yeah. Same in Yorkshire, the same in the Northeast, the same in the Northwest. Um, and those guys are at it full time, all day, every day. And I have all the conversations oh. with them about, I'll take an order from a client, we'll have sat down, created a plan, and then they're saying to me, well, really, for that kind of a budget, we need to <clears throat> maybe move into a different part of town, yeah, yeah. Uh, increase the budget, what have you. Um, they know, they the, know, they know the local they, knowledge. They know all the local knowledge. Yeah. You need that as well to do it. Your point about uh, you've got to be available, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a job that you know, you've got to be available. Um, I remember I, we've, we've sourced over 1,200 properties. We've been doing this a while. I don't source properties anymore, but I yeah, used, used to. to. I used to. Used you've got to me running a team of guys that do it. Yeah, yeah, but I, yeah. I used to drive around, meet a station. I used to do this. I, I bought I know what you're going to say. Four or five You're going to say, when an estate agent rang you Bang. to say, I've got a house yeah. coming on the market, mm -hmm. it's gonna be online tomorrow, mm -hmm. do you wanna view it? Mm -hmm. You exactly need to be able say. to say, yeah. I'll be there this afternoon. I'll, I'll be there in a minute, yeah. I'll be there. Where yeah. are you? I've just, I've just left, <clears throat> you've still got the keys in your pocket, I'll see you in mm -hmm. 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah you've, you've gotta be. Like, that's where it. my best deals came from. So That day, that morning, and this is bringing others on maybe a little bit further down, down the, uh, the, the list of the five points, once I'd viewed it, I was offering on the doorstep. Yeah. I was on the doorstep going, oh, yeah, you, you're right, mate. That was, uh, that was the right house. And it is, I'll pay you. And I used to be paying mm. 40 or 50,000 pounds, but this was a while ago because I'm, I'm getting on with you. <laughs> right. So that was it. So that was number two. The, 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 right, the right property. The right property. Okay. Moving us on. Number. Number three. Three. Okay. So, numero tres. Yeah? Tres. Okay. You, okay. You, you should be Spanish as well. <laughs> so, uh, number three. Um, you need to have... Property friends. property friends. Some people call it a power team. Special friends. Um, you need a team of people around you mm. that can support you in all the different mm. sort of things you need. You can't you need. do this by yeah, yourself. You can't do it by yourself. So what do we mean by property friends? So you need... Solicitors. Uh, a good conveyancing solicitor who's fast and efficient. Commercial mindset, really yeah. important. You know, you can get a solicitor that holds up a deal for no particular reason. Definitely. Like, oh, well, I haven't got my fence certificate. The windows or are just even take. I'm, I'm chopping the windows. We might even out, just or... take a week to get all their initial engagement papers out to you. They need to be fast. Fast. So you need a really. Otherwise, good otherwise, if you're buying the house without the commercially minded property solicitor, and I'm buying it with mine, yeah, I'll, I'll buy it quicker than you. My, the, that estate agent's going to sell it to me because I've got my ducks in a row and exactly. I'm organised and I'll beat you. And they know yeah. it. They know it. 
from a sort of personal point of view, you need a, a good property accountant, mm -hmm. not just a friend of a friend. Yep. Someone who did the books for you in a different business, it needs to be a property accountant. Um, everyone you need on this team or your property, they need to be property minded. So good solicitor, property accountant, you need a buy to let specialist mortgage broker. If you, yeah, most people so. use, use mortgages either to fund the purchase or to, to recycle the cash back out of a cash purchase. But if you're not using a specialist buy to let mortgage broker, you're not going to be getting the best advice and getting the best, the best mortgages. Yeah. And, and the best mortgage might not be the cheapest. It yeah, might it might be. not even be that speed is important. When they put all their ERC research in and it comes up the list and it, they might go down to the fourth recommended yeah. product and say, this one is better for you because I know that that lender is desperate to get their money out in the market. They'll, you, you, you'll stand a much better chance of getting the valuation with them that you want. Um, that's just one reason. Yeah. Just, just uh, yeah. I, I, I might yeah. take a mortgage that's more expensive because my plan is to refinance it a year from now or two years from now. That could be an option for you. <clears> know, <throat> and and, and yeah. then you take the lower rate because there's a penalty, an early repayment charge for going sooner with the best. What yeah. looks on paper like the best. Yeah. So many things. So mortgage broker. So let's think. Who, so who, who are your other you've, friends? You've got. Need? You've got the solicitor to help you buy the house. You've got your accountant mm -hmm. to get all your books in order. You've got your mortgage broker. Mm -hmm. um, when, you're, when you've sourced a property, the likelihood is it's going to need some money spending on it. It might need a little, yep. it might need new carpets and a bit of decoration. It might need nothing, but it most likely will need something. It might need a full renovation. So you need um, builders and trades, yep. basically. And that's everything. Window supplier, roofer, electrics, plumbing, heating, gas, Kitchens, bathrooms, flooring, everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you need good relationships, good relationships with those people, so you know you're getting the right price and the best service. And they're going to warranty any work that they do. Um, it's really important. It's what makes that house in going forward into the next couple of steps compliant. Yeah. So and highly letable. Landlord friends. How do you get them? You start moving in landlord circles. Go to landlord meetings. The friends that you have got are landlords start talking about their experiences. Recommendations, recommendations, yeah. Recommendations are always, always the best. I mean, if we want a new builder, which we will every now and again, we need a new builder. Somebody retires or goes abroad or mm -hmm. becomes an alcoholic or whatever it is, <laughs> you know, they disappear. We need a new builder. Um, we will go and advertise and look on Google for sure. But the best one is I've used him and he's yeah, really yeah. good. So your Definitely. landlord friends. Um, I've got another one. And your trades recommend other trades. Of course. They all know every. They, yeah. they all know someone. Your window fitter will know someone who does rendering or is a plasterer or yeah. whatever. They, they and, all know. And the good ones will work with the good ones. Exactly. And, and, and not. Yeah. Uh, I've got another one. So, where, where, where? Who else could be your friend? Will be your friend. You need be your friend. You, For the landlords. Join us. It can be a lonely thing. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah. You yeah. need other landlords. You need to know other landlords. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you join, subscribe to the podcast. These kind of things keep coming mm -hmm. out. This is a good um, yeah. source of knowledge. If you've got a specific question, it's really nice to be able to go ask. I still do it. You know, I've got a couple of WhatsApp groups where other landlords are on, or yeah. or even the partners. We've got sourcing you'll, partners. You'll find them in I your send a message out, yeah. and loads of things come back. So, like, oh yeah, that's the answer. Yeah, yeah brilliant. Yeah. So, if you've got a question, send it in to us. It could yeah. even become another podcast. Pop it in the comments. Episode. Yeah. If yep. you're enjoying this video, like, subscribe. It helps the channel. Oh, now you're getting all technical. I'm good at this. You are really good at this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but so, yeah, please do. Drop us any questions. So, um, take us on to... Number, number four. four. Okay, so, so number, number four. four. The fourth thing you need um, is a good letting agent. Mm. Like, people are going to accuse us of being biased here because we are a letting agent. We yeah. are. The UK's number one property sourcer, but we are a letting agent. That's, yeah. that's yeah. the sourcing bit. is about 10% of the business. Yeah, we'll source and renovate houses, but yeah. you know, long term, we manage those as well. Yeah. Now, um, I promise you I'm not biased, because <laughs> even before I owned a letting agent, I'll tell I you, had a letting I agent. I know exactly why <laughs> we're not yeah. We're based in the Midlands and the north of England. If you own property in the south of England, we can't manage it for you, but I'm telling you, if you're self-managing it, go and find a good agent, because they'll do a better job. They're Sim professionals, that's why. Like that. yeah. Yeah. You know? Um, definitely. You need cool. a good landlord. Let's expand on that. Why? Why, why, why? <clears throat> you will make more money. Um, so the DIY landlord loses money all the time. And they think they don't. They, they kid themselves. They're in denial. They think, they say, I've got really good tenants. I've got a good relationship with mm -hmm. them. Yeah. Um, 
I, I hear it all the time. Which one is fine. Of, of course, that's nice yeah, to have. One of my tenants is always a bit behind, but they always pay up in the end. Yeah. And then you find out, well, they're not even paying market level rent anyway. Yeah. yeah. I and mean, of course, they pay up in the end. Yeah. Uh, 150 quid less than everybody else. I mean, where else would they go? <laughs> um, yeah. I rent it to a friend. Uh, yeah. No, I haven't really got the right contracts. And so, so what, a la- what a letting agency will do for you. And I've had a letting agency manage my properties from day one, and I wouldn't have it any other way because. Um, yeah, that's true. No, to be fair, you had a letting agency yeah. manage houses before you owned a letting agency, so you've always done it. I've yeah. always done it this way. Yeah. Yeah. I, I took the decision. Uh, I was busy with a job. You probably are. I didn't have the skills. I thought I had some of the skills, but I knew I didn't have um, some of the skills. You know, I had some, didn't have some. Actually, there was a lot more skills that I just didn't know that I needed, and I didn't have them. So this is it's like the tip of the iceberg that you see when you first become a landlord. The stuff underneath it can be bloody scary. If you get it wrong, there's fines, there's prisons, there's all sorts of stuff. Mm. Um, and actually, most landlords don't see that. Uh, rent repayment orders, pretty much everything you get wrong can be a 30 grand fine or prison. I mean, right. You can be struck off because of being a landlord, all sorts. Oh, yeah. If you're, if you're a, um, a doctor, a teacher, all those yeah, kind yeah. of things, where your profession says, if you get it wrong as a landlord, it can affect your career. So, you know, yeah. let's not get it wrong. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I use a letting agency because of the... Um, that element. I also use a letting agent because of the time. You will get bugged by tenants 24-7 through Christmas Day, you're eating your lunch and they can call you and yeah. say my boiler's broken. <clears throat> they can, they will. We get those phone calls as a letting agency yeah. and if we have to deal with them. Burst pipe in the middle yeah. of the night, we've yeah. got an out of office yeah. um, telephone number, out of hours, pardon me, telephone yeah. number that the tenant can call and someone will be then emergency called out to stop that water going everywhere. If you don't have it as a landlord, you're either going to get the telephone call, you're going to ignore it, which is going to damage your property, or you're going to ignore it, which is going to cause you a problem because you, by law, have to take that phone call and rehouse them or do the the fixes. Also, and this is the main point, you will make more money. Yeah. You will make more money. Voids will be shorter. Maintenance bills will be less because you'll they'll yeah. use your yeah, well, yeah. I'll, I'll, you'll have yeah. quick and efficient maintenance yeah you'll have less voids you'll have the market rents you'll be getting the rent you should be getting that's a big one. Well, how many landlords do you know all of them DIY yeah. landlords Everyone. that don't charge all, every, every single landlord they think they are yeah they all they, think they, they are. often think they are I mean, all right there's going to be exceptions where um some people are but they a self-managed landlord that's getting everything right is doing it probably full time as a self managing landlord, and that's why it's good. Most self managing landlords have got a job, um, and then this is a side thing, so that's why they're getting it wrong. Yep. Um, so yeah, you need a letting agent to make sure that you nev- you've never got any arrears, you've never got any bad debts, your maintenance is done on time, the right costs, the right quality, yeah. and most importantly, the house is compliant. Yeah. Compliant is the compliance it's, it's, is the it's biggest the, thing. Yeah. Um, if a, you need a landlord license, you won't get one if your house isn't compliant, and, and you then you can't rent can't the thing get, out. Anyway. You can't rent the thing out. You might not be able to get a mortgage. All these things. And well, you definitely let, can't have a mortgage. Mortgage provider has to see the license. Yeah. Um, as a landlord, <coughs> all of that can be very overwhelming. The temptation is to either be overwhelmed or ignore it. Ignoring it causes you a whole load of hassle because it just unwinds at some point. You get found out. It costs money. You can't finance. You can't keep your tenant out. There's all sorts of work at a higher level and. Mm-hmm. Your dreams will come true. Your plan that you had at the top was, I want this, this, and this. Don't let other stuff get in the way of it. Have it run properly. And and, and, seriously, every landlord we have ever met, DIY, 99% of them do not have it at market rent. So by the time you've got market rent, less voids, you're there. You pay for them. Exactly. Market. You need market rent for when you come round to refinance True. your mortgage. True. If you're not at market rent, they you won't get the mortgage product you want. So right, number four, um, you need a letting agent. Yep. Number number five. Ready to move on? Yeah. You're sure, ready to move I think on. So, yeah. Okay. Number five. If you've got number any questions five. that you might want us to answer, stick, pop them in. Stick with the comments. comments bit, yeah. Email in. There's all the links and everything. You know where to find us. Yeah. We're called fullthelandlords.com. It's pretty easy to find us. Exactly. That was a clever name. Eh? Um, um, right. Number, number five. Number five. Um, you need to have a happy life. Sounds a bit corny, but if you've got the other four things, mm. they're the reasons mm. that make you a happy landlord. Yeah. You're only doing this to be happier, to have more money, to have more time available to you. Um, you know, you're building something for the future maybe, yeah. or you're building a second income stream. You're only doing that because you want to be happy. So if you've got the other four things, 
the fifth thing you'll have and need to have is a happy yeah, life. Exactly. Like, point it being does, miserable. It does sound corny. Um, it took me quite a long time to realise this is the point. Yeah, in mm. your plan, your plan should say, I'm not doing this. There's, there's a famous Steve there's Jobs a, quote where he said, I look in the mirror every morning and I might be misquoting him, but I, 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 it's in my head. Uh, and if I, I we'll say, just say do, it. Do, do I want to be doing this? Google it and tell us if he's wrong. Yeah, if I'm wrong. Uh, but, but basically, if you're not happy doing it, don't so do it. So the reason you need this fifth one, a happy life, because you'll then have the desire to repeat the process that you just went through of finding the right house and then yeah. having it managed well, making money from it. You'll want to do it again and again, it again and again. And then you'll have a really successful property portfolio that will make you even happier yeah. and your family happier. The average landlord in the UK has 1.2 houses. Yeah. One, it, it fluctuates between 1.2 and 1.6. Most Never landlords inherited it. Accidental yeah. landlords, Accidental. they call it, yeah. or they owned it, lived in it, met, met their partner, yeah. rented their house out, moved into their partner's so house. They're the two most common yeah. um, landlords. There's a find. survey that gets done every year by Arla. Uh, it's called the Pearl Survey, and it says, all landlords, do you want to grow next year? And they all say yes. And then the yeah, next year it rolls yeah. around and says, have you grown? They say, oh, I didn't actually make it. The reason is, stuff gets in the way. There's something, there's some grit in their shoe. There's some, you know, it's getting in the way and they're not taking the next step because this, this is the thing that's holding people back. I think, oh, it's kind of good. I can see the benefits of it, but this, this, this is the back of my mind. I haven't got this builder sorted out or I've, I've seen, but I'm not buying any more houses because my builder retired. You know, your property friends is deficient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I've, I bought the wrong house oh, in the God, wrong it's area. It's really common. People yeah, stop yeah, buying because yeah, they're yeah, builders. Yeah, because they, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. um, tenant calls me all the time, get a letting agent. Get all those one, two, three, four sorted so that if five you go, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this, yeah. I'll go again. It's the key to unlocking it all. Yeah. And let's face it, one or two houses better than none, ten's better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, ten's yeah. better. <laughs> you know, buy more. And and, so, and you can. Everybody can. If you've done it once before, take the learnings. It won't be perfect to start off with. Take the learnings. Listen again to those points one, two, three, four. Bought quite a few houses. Mm. They are genuinely yeah. the things I wish I'd known. It's like, yeah, focus on those things. Adam I will help you focus on those things if you want as a business. That's all one of the things we do. We'll, we'll, we'll sort each one of those five points out for you. Happiness yeah. and Have success. Have that happy life and yeah. celebrate. Celebrate yeah. when you achieve. Oh, yeah. I think they're the five things that every now and then needs to have. Mm. I think they are. There we go. So if you found any value in that at all today, please hit the like button. Yeah, and please subscribe because it helps us grow the channel and it helps us build this community of happy landlords. Stay in touch. <laughs>